All right, let's do one more really easy straight numbers. You bought a 10 unit apartment building. You notice we're making this easy, no trickery. Numbers all work at 1% a month, 12%, $100,000. We want you to get the concept. You can apply it, put different numbers. So you bought an apartment building, 10 units, each rented for $1,000. Is that net or gross rent? Exactly. If you want a 10% yield on your money, what is the most you can pay for this building? And the only thing you really need to know on this one is your total expenses, taxes, insurance, everything else, vacancy, maintenance, 40%. I made it really easy on this one because now you know how to calculate that. So here we go. Hi, guys. Cheap seats, say hi. So what happens when you register late, by the way? So we're going to start off with $1,000 a month. Is that net rent or gross rent? Gross. You now know the difference. You've learned a key term. Very good. And how much are the expenses? 40%. So how much total each month is allocated to expenses? $400. Okay. Now we want to get the net income, don't we? How do we get net income? Gross rent Correct. minus expenses. This is included in this 40. Put it in there to make it easy on you. Question was, Nancy's. She's right. I just made it easy for you on this one. This 40% includes vacancy. So we take the $1,000 a month. We subtract $400 in expenses. And we come up with a net rent amount of $600 per month. How many units do we have? 10. So we have. 10 units, so each one of them is pulling in 600, correct? So we multiply this times 10, and easy, all you have to do is add the zero to the 600. So now it's 6,000 per month. This Sounds is, like a lot, doesn't it? And that's per month. How much is it for a year? Time, multiply times 12, and we come with 72,000. Really? Oh. Is that a good number? Yeah. That is a good number. Depends on how much the property costs. Depends on how much the property costs. See, I tricked you guys. Now, the question was, we want to find out how much would you pay if you wanted a 10% yield, 10% yield on your... Does everybody understand yield? For every dollar out, how much does it bring back in percentages? How much of my money is out, what it brings back? Okay. So the yield requirement in this one is how much? So we're going to take how much we receive in a year, and we're going to, we're going to divide it. Divide it by 10%. Told you this was easy. And that gives you a figure of, $720,000. How many 10 unit buildings can you buy here in this county for 720? Zero. So does that mean they're able to cash flow them here? No. That's why if you're a cash flow investor, you'll go to other places where it cash flows. Now, if you go to a realtor, most times they will tell you and they'll base the, the price that they're offering the property on a multiple of the gross scheduled income. In this case, it's 72,000. No, that's net. This is net. Excuse me. The gross would be 1,000. Right. So it'd be 10,000 a month times 10 units, 120,000. So they will take 120,000 and multiply it. Do not ever. Never, ever buy a property based upon gross scheduled income. Use net or you will Always lose your shirt. Because you can bury so much stuff in the gross, it's crazy. And a good way to find out the net is to ask them for their tax returns. And their books. And their books. Okay. So everybody get that. This is basic math. These are problems that you got to be really comfortable doing. 